Welcome to NBK Chem, today, I would like to introduce some information about dendromer encapsulated nanoparticles. So let's start. What are dendrimers? The poly, amidoamine, pamum, and poly, propylenemine, are the two most popular and commercially viable dendrimers available to date. In general, dendrimers having different generations, G0 to Gn, can be classified into different types based on their molecular weight, the number of terminal groups, repeating units, diameter, and size. To date, dendrimers have been used in biomedical, catalysis and industrial processes owing to their fascinating biological properties, self-assembling capability, electrostatic interactions, chemical stability, low toxicity, high aqueous solubility in reactivity. Pamum dendromer possessing ethylenediamine, central core, and methyl acrylate has different generations, G0 to 10, named as generation 0, G0, generation 1, G1, and so on. Pamum dendromer can be distinguished based on the surface groups such as OH, NH2 and COOH. The number of terminal groups, molecular weight and size increases for each generation of Pamum dendromer. Considering that the size, shape and flexibility of Pamum dendromer changes with the generation, a suitable generation should be selected for controlling the efficiency of metal encapsulation. The advancing knowledge on the dendromer encapsulated nanoparticles preparation has been well documented in the literature. Key things to note during the synthesis of dendromer encapsulated nanoparticles while adapting any of the protocols reported are outlined point by point as below. 1. Pamum dendromer with terminal functional groups forms a complex with the metal ions through the reaction of lone pair of electrons present at the tertiary amines in internal cavities. 2. The metal ions are reduced to their zero valence states using sodium borohydride, strong reducing agent, to form nanoparticles within the dendromer. 3. The hosting capability of pamum dendromer is based on the inner and outer chemical composition and size of the cavity. 4. Higher generation Pamum dendromer is the most endorsed one for hosting the metal ions due to its high enough dense shell. 5. Remarkably, Pamum dendromer protects the encapsulated metal nanoparticles from oxidation and contamination by acting as a stabilizer and template. Special interests to prepare bimetallic nanoparticles have been shown due to modulated electronic properties, enhanced conductivity, synergy, and interesting catalytic behavior. The three most common methods to prepare bimetallic nanoparticles within the dendrimers are co-complexation method, sequential method, and partial method. There are several key advantages of dendromer encapsulated nanoparticles for electrochemical energy applications such as fuel cells and water electrolyzer, and other energy storage systems. 1. High performance, minimum catalyst degradation and negligible corrosion have been achieved in electrocatalytic reactions, ORR, ER, etc., mainly with the use of ultrasmall. Metal nanoparticles having high index facets, high mass specific activity, size and shape, and high active surface area. 2. Pamum dendromer has a unique ability to produce uniform and small, less than 5 nanometers, nanoparticles due to its good chelating ability and excellent solubility in the aqueous solvents. 3. The nanoparticles obtained via Pamum dendromer complexation route have not only produced high surface area materials but also have enabled them to deliver high mass specific activity in electrocatalytic reactions such as OR. 4. The internal cavity and exterior porosity of the dendromer avenues to efficient mass transfer in the electrocatalytic reactions. 5. Besides, dendromer could also boost up the catalytic performance of various metal nanoparticles by serving as a viable host to metals. 6. Another advantage of dendromer encapsulated nanoparticles is the particles stabilized. Within the dendromer show excellent durability without any notable surface oxidation and degradation. All of them, see you on next video. Thank you for your view.